Alright guys, let's get started here. So yes, everybody, welcome to this week's Pokemon TCG opening. Uh, last week we just finished up the Massive Unified Minds opening. Um, so that that's got done. And then, I believe, yeah, a couple days ago, Hidden Fates, the second last set, uh, just got released. So... Uh, I'm hoping to get some, uh, some Hidden Fate stuff to open up on here, but, uh, uh, it's kind of been a little difficult, because, well, well, everybody wants to open up Hidden Fates, so everybody's just buying them, and stores are just already all sold out before I could really buy any, so, um, so yeah. But hopefully in the future I'll be able to open up some Hidden Fates for you guys. But anyways, for tonight, we're going to be we're gonna opening up a slightly older box. So we got this bad boy right here. We have the Pikachu EX Legendary Collection box. We are going to be popping open here for you guys. So yes, uh, well, this box is a, a, a few years old. Uh, um, this along with the uh, Hoopa EX Legendary Collection came out around uh, 2015. And yes, as Retro Knight sees right there, there is a uh, Pikachu pin uh, kind of up here. Up here in the corner. So yes, you have to get a little cool Pikachu pin here. We got some packs here, whole bunch of promo cards. So that's basically what it looks like on the front. Then on the back here, it's what it looks like on the back. You can see a whole bunch of legendary Pokemon. You have. Measure Room, Dialga, Arceus, uh, Latios, uh, I believe that's White Curum, I do believe. So yeah. Oh, there is a coin in there? Oh, there is a coin? Oh, maybe you just can't see it from, from outside, but... Anyways, yes, let's pop let's pop pop this box open here. Yeah, I know I know there's a there's a black and a white here um and I don't see a coin there. I don't see a coin, I think it's just a pin. Let me read the box contents here. For a promo card, let's read Pokemon. Collector's pin. Yeah, there's no coin in this box. It is just the pin. So, yeah, let's open this up. Hopefully, without ruin. Everything. Alright. Oh. Actually, hold on. I can, I can slide this out. I can slide this out. And there is a giant spider that has just come down to want to say hi. Um, hold on a second. Let me, let me get something to take care of that, that spider. Uh, I don't know if you guys can can see him, but yeah, there there is the spider that is uh, saying hi. So yeah, say hi, Mr. Spider. You're on can't you're on stream, buddy? You're gonna be famous. All 
And unfortunately, his fire is eventually going to have to go. And there we go. There is no more spider. Yeah, hello, spider friends. He's uh, he's somewhere in this little wad of paper that's now thrown out in the garbage. So, yeah, goodbye, spider. You had your uh. You had your little, you know, couple minutes of uh, stream time. All right. Let's just get stuff out of here. Okay. So yes, for for packs, and you can find in this box we do have Primal Clash, Roaring Skies, Ancient Origins, a couple of breakthrough packs in this box. So I'm gonna set those up here. Well, here is our. Our little Pikachu pin here. Looking like he's ready for battle. Oh, you see it? Oh, yeah. Uh, alright. Code card! So, obviously, gotta have a code card. So, there you go, guys. Have a code, enjoy your Pikachu EX and other bunch of stuff that comes with it. Sometimes sometimes it says what comes with the code cards, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, so now let's take a look at our Black Star promo cards here. So first, start with Palkia. God, gotta love. I, I actually really like these uh, these full arts, like these non EX full arts with the cool mirror foil. They look really awesome. Come on, camera. There we go. So yeah, that's Palkia. Now we'll take a look at at Latias. Looks like there's a couple cam cameos back there. You can see Brave Eerie, you can see Noibat all flying around. Having fun as well. Next up, we have Black Kurum. So, of course, that's a fusion of Kurum and Zekrom. That creates this guy right here. Next up, we have. Reggie Gigas. It's out there. Looks like it's out there in the forest. Looking for looking for enemy Pokemon. The next we have the next we have Zekrom. Which is one half of Black Kurum that we saw earlier. That looks, that looks awesome. Who else is in there? Oh, Latios and Palkia are in the uh, are in the art. 
Latios kinda kinda chilling up there. Polka you can see up there on the top right. And of course, last but not least, Peak 2 EX. I think, I could be wrong, but I think, I think this is like one of the only evolvable uh, Pokemon EX cards that were made. Like, besides, you know, besides Pokemon that could you know, evolve into its mega or primal evolution form. Oh, it was only for the promo cards? Uh, okay, well that makes sense. So, I mean, you get promo cards? So that's cool. Alright, how am I gonna organize these cards? Maybe I'll put them. Maybe I'll put them like so. Make sure they're on. On the stream here for you guys to see. Oh, Apple software. Go away, we don't want to update you. Alright. So of course, you know, can't stop at five packs. We gotta open, gotta open a lot more than five packs. So now, you know, let's, let's play in some more packs. So we got, you know, of course, much more Primal Clash. Roaring Skies, Ancient Origins, of course, last but not least, whole bunch of breakthrough packs. So this will be our this will be our thirty six pack sort of mixed booster box that we're going to be opening up here. Alright guys, so we got our stack. So let's crack open some packs here. Alright, so here we go. Let's start with Primal Clash. So of course, Primal Clash, we can pull you know, you can pull Primal Kyurga, Primal Groudon in this set, along with many other cool cards. So here we go. Let's see. Let's see what we get. I mean, these are just loose packs, so you know. Ratios for ratios for you know these kinds of, for loose packs going to be a little wonky. Yeah, yeah, I figured that certain codes would only give out like promo cards and stuff. Oh, we're starting with a reverse rare electric. Ancient Traits. So, very nice start there. And we have a King Draw for our first regular rare card. Yeah, there's like some codes, they only give out like promo cards. There's other ones. There's other ones you of course find in booster packs that you know give you a pack. And there's a whole whole bunch of other different ones you can get. Man, I, I wonder. I 
remember back up until I think it was Furious Fists, where the backs of the code cards were like were like all colorful and had their own design for the particular set. It's kind of too bad they, that Pokemon doesn't do that anymore, which is pretty unfortunate. But you know, you of course had the the issue of people weighing packs and stuff, you know, fishing out the, uh, the packs with the, you know, full arts and secrets, and grabbing those packs. I think even now you could probably uh, still weigh the packs, but it's like. But it's like harder to do so or something. I'm honestly not even sure. I've never even tried weighing a pack before. So I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure how one would be able to distinguish like, you know. Hollower packs and not rares and you know full arts and secrets as opposed to non hollow rares. I'm sure it's not too too difficult to figure out. I don't know. Probably be something to to try out just for fun. Uh, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys had a, a pretty decent weekend uh, over there uh, for you guys. You know, my weekend was you know kind of uneventful, but I was mostly just relaxing after pretty rough, pretty rough week that I had. Kind of both at work and outside of work and stuff. But. But good news is. Last week is done. New week is about to begin. So. We get to. We get to start fresh. Uh, I, I guess another thing I could mention is that, oh yeah, AG, uh, game submissions for AGQ 2020, uh, opened up, I think it, they opened up, a, they opened up three days ago, so, so far I've submitted off a couple games. Uh, t for AGQ 2020. Um, still think about potentially submitting one or two more for the event. In the hopes of at least getting one game to an AGQ. And... <laughs> there we go, our first hit, we get an ultra rare, full art, camera ops, EX, oh man, that, that is a cool full art card there, awesome, that is, that is awesome right there. Few packs in, we already got a full art. That is sweet. 
So for those of you wondering what Count EX does, it has Tumbling Attack. Where you flip a coin, it has this attack does 30 more damage on top of the 30 it already does. And it has Explosive Jets. Discard as many fire energy attached to your Pokemon as you like. This attack does 50 damage times the number of energy cards you discarded. So yes, that is camera up to EX. Uh, yes, that's right. Yeah, six. Yeah, six energy would knock out. Would knock out basically any tag team GX you wanted. Even even the new um, tag team trio uh, GX card. Because yeah, Hidden Fates has the has the three Gen One Legendary Birds as a tag team GX car that also has 300 HP. So yeah, so yeah, six energy would basically knock out. Basically any, really any Pokemon, really any Pokemon that you wanted, GX, Tag Team GX, doesn't matter, it's gonna get bopped. Right, I'm not sure if any, uh, I'm not sure if any tag team GX is uh is resistant to fire. I I don't think there is one. At, le at least I can't think of a tag team GX that's uh resistant to fire. Alright, so here we go. Let's see what... Let's see what Pikachu and his friends got in its Primal Clash pack. So here we go, last pack of Primal Clash. You guys can have code. See if you guys can pull something awesome out of the Primal Clash booster. For the online game. Yeah, you, uh, you know what? I don't think there is a tag team GX out there that is not, that is resistant to fire. So I'm pretty sure Explosive Jet, discard 6 energy, and that's a, that's a free prize card right there. Alright, here we go. Last reverse hole. Last reverse for Primal Clash. We have Agron, Spirit Link, and our last rare is a Starmie. So there we go. There we go. P Primal Clash was not too bad. We only did get the one hit, but it was a full art, which is pretty sweet. Can't complain about that. All right, here we go. Next set now. We're going to Roaring Skies. Roaring Skies, a set that we've actually opened up. A lot of on this channel here. I've opened up a couple booster boxes and numerous other loose packs from different boxes. 
that we've also opened. So yeah, let's let's see what happens here. Orange skies. For those of you that don't know, this is the this is a set with all the Aquaza EX cards in it. Uh, this one also has the Full Art Shaman that at the time this set was released everybody was going for. So, you know, let, let's see if we can get you know, either a Rayquaza or a Shaman card out of here. And we're starting off with a Dragon Knight. So we got our friendly yeah, Dragon Knight's a friendly Pokemon, I, I would say. One of the more friendlier Dragon types in the game. You yeah, we'll put the pot like right there. Seems like a good spot for it. Oh, it's too... Wow. So, so that was a good promo code then. Two booster packs and all those promo cards. That's pretty good. Yeah, so you get... So yeah, six promo cards and two booster packs. Hey. That's a pretty good code card right there. You get lots of goodies. And hopefully, you know, even more if you get uh, a couple nice pulls in the booster packs. Not exactly sure, you know, what kind of booster packs you would get. I assume a couple from the four different sets we're going to be opening up here tonight. Which ones exactly? I'm not entirely sure. Also, there's one third of the uh, tag team trio GX card that's in Hidden Fates. Oh nice, you got the Kyogre EX? Awesome. Nice. So lucky you, you get you get a Kyogre EX. So that so then I'm guessing one of the codes you got one of the packs they got in that promo code was a promo clash pack. Or maybe you just, uh... Or maybe you opened up the, uh... Code that I gave away for the promo clash pack, I don't know. Oh wait, it was probably the promo code then, from what you're saying. Oh, oh yeah, it was? Whoa. Okay, a double Galade Spirit Link pack. Very interesting. Not too often you get a reverse foil of the same card you always pulled the regular of in a booster pack. But, but there are odd times that does happen. So that's good. Hey, that was a that was a nice pull you got. Yay for yay for good pack RNG. So yeah, I'm I'm really hoping, getting back on topic about HDQ, 
I'm really hoping to try to to try to get a game into an AGQ. So I've been trying for several years now to perform on the AGDQ stage and just haven't been able to quite make it. And here we are, we have our first hollow rare card of the opening. We have Deoxys. So very nice. I th I'm trying to think. I think I think Roaring Skies has a few different Deoxys uh, cards for uh, a few different forms of it. I think the I think there's two other ones in this set, and I believe they're both non hollow rares. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's, pretty sure that's in uh, Rowan Skies. I could be wrong. All right, come on. Open up your pack. Okay, Raichu. Go get your, uh, your delicious food while I try to get some lucky pulls out of these packs. I mean, it's the full art. You know, the full art obviously is a good pull, but I mean, overall, we haven't really gotten too, too much so far. Only, really only two hits. Whoops. And we're still at two hits. But I mean, eh, no need to get worried just yet. I mean, we still got lots of packs to go. I'm having a little drink of water here. There we go. Yeah. You know, everybody remember, it's summertime. It's important to stay hydrated, everybody. You know, drink lots of water. And all that stuff. Because water is good for you. There was nothing like... Nothing like the refreshing taste of hydration. Because the refreshing taste definitely tastes really good. Although, although actually we're kind of nearing the end of summer. It is almost September. So, I mean, temperatures are... Actually, they've already been starting to cool down a little bit. So. So, it won't be... It's actually less than a month now that uh, it's going to be fall. And then it'll be officially the end of summer. Before we know it. All right, here we go, guys. Last Roman Skies, last Roman Skies pack. Let's see what Pikachu and friends got. And last Roman Skies pack. That means have another code, guys. See you guys pull something awesome out of there. Maybe a shaman, maybe a Rayquaza of some sort, who knows. 
Let's see what we get with this last Roaring Skies pack here. Maybe we'll get a little something something good out of here. Before we go on to the next set. Which will be Ancient Origins. Last last reverse of Roaring Skies we have a Ninja Ask. And last rare card is a bandit. Alright, so yeah, not not the greatest Roaring Skies packs we'll get in one foil card so far. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. Sounds good, right, you? Gotta stag all those codes. Alright, here we go. Next set here, we have Ancient Origins. Another set we've opened quite a bit up in the past. This is actually where we can pull... Uh, we could pull... We could actually also pull Primo Kyoga and Primo Grout on this set. But as a Ultra Rare Full Art Gold cards. Yeah, why not, eh? You're the only one here, so why not just snag all the codes? That means more cards for you for the online game. You know, add to your collection, make some cool decks to battle other people and beat them. While we get a double energy recycler pack. Because why not? And a first red card is a Gyarados! Alright. It's a non hall rare, but I mean, it's a Gyarados. Gyarados. Gyarados is pretty awesome Pokemon. Ah, uh, just a dust ox. Uh, oh well. Ah, oh, what's that right there? Oh, I got a little. I got a little bump like right there on my neck. I just like scratched it. Okay, light Spirit Link Reverse. Nice. That's a pretty decent. Recent reverse foil. Wait, wait, wait. It's only three. So this is this is X Y. Gotta remember it's only three cards. I've been opening up so many Sun and Moon series packs. So I'm like so used to do the card trick with four. You take four from the back ends, put in front of the next two. I had to remember that this is X, Y, and there's only three. Because there's no, there's no basic energy card that you get in uh, X, Y packs. Cause any, any any XY set that has basic energy cards in it are actually are actually part of the set. You know they're not like they're not like you know sun and moon 
basic energies where you get one every single pack and you know you know the card's worth nothing. I don't even know if you could like try to sell like basic energies from Sun and Moon. I guess you could probably try to sell them for like maybe at most a nickel card, but I don't even know if you can even do that. So yeah, the Sun and Moon basic energies. Also like reverse foil or something. They're not really worth anything. And wow. We just got a double Megros ancient trade pack. So you know, there you go. We have double the Me Metagross here. Boy, what is happening with these packs? We're not getting much. But then, of course, you know, these are only loose packs, so I mean, it's not like, you know, there was potential that we may not have gotten much out of anyways, but. I mean, you never know. You just gotta... You just gotta believe in the heart of cards. And hope... that you get something good. We have a shiny by Sharp. Nice! Where'd you get a shiny by Sharp? Was that from... That had to have been from a hidden fates code. Unless it's like unless you got it from like I don't even know what set would even have a shiny by sharp in it. I don't know. Oh 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 Hey we got a hit, here we are. An ultra rare Ampharos EX. There we go. Finally getting another hit. Very, very nice. Finally getting a the first regular ultra rare card. The other one we pulled was only was a full art. So there we go, and Faros EX. Let's see what it does. It's got Thunder Rod. Look at the top four cards of your deck and attach as many lightning energy cards you find there as you like to this Pokemon. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. And Sparkling Tail for 100 damage. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So the follows is not bad. You know, got a hundred damage beat stick. Also, Baluta, welcome to the stream, buddy. Hopefully you're liking Hopefully you're a fan of Pokemon or liking uh, hopefully you're liking the uh, few hits that we've gotten so far. You know, hopefully, hopefully you're doing well and are have had a great weekend. Oh, nice! You have, you have Bronzong and Kirby great cards. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, 
Man, you know, I really liked, I really liked the foil on the, uh, the foiling on the, uh, break cards, uh, from Breakthrough up until Evolutions. The foiling on all the break cards was actually really cool. Kind of, kind of, kind of wish Pokemon would kind of bring back, you know, that that kind of foil. Wow, a double eco arm? Man, what is going on with these uh, doubles packs? Get double Metagross. So eco arm, double something else. Boy, oh boy, a lot of doubles here going on here. Oh, but we got another ultra rare. This time it is a my champ ex. There we go. Look at that. Sorry, I shouldn't say match champ. My Pog Champ EX. Yes, my Pog Champ. Awesome. There we go. The, the hits are starting to come by here. That's two ultras in a row. Awesome. Alright, so let's see what Matt Champ EX does. I don't think we've ever pulled a Matt Champ on here. So it's got Steamy Mad. This attack does 20 damage times the number of damage counters on this Pokemon. And this Pokemon is now confused. And it's also got Crazy Hammer. This Pokemon is affected by a special condition. This attack does 80 more damage. So hey, there you go. Got a little wombo combo going on here. And then you get to remove all special conditions from this Pokemon. So that that is uh So that's actually really cool. You can use Steam Mad, Confuse Matchamp, and then use Crazy Hammer. To deal massive damage and then unconfuse it again. Gotta love the wombo combos. So there we go. That is my champ ex. So that's awesome. So these Ancient Origins packs looking pretty good so far. Yeah, we got a couple left. Oh no, can we make it uh can we make it three in a row? We uh kinda like bowling, you know, getting that getting that turkey. A big delicious turkey. You know, actually, speaking of bowling, being that uh, September is almost here, uh, that also means that bowling season uh, for me is about to start up soon. You know, I've already, I've already been out bowling uh, a couple times earlier this month. Sort of practicing for the new season. So far, the practice has actually gone really well. And speaking of that turkey, there it is. <laughs> this time it is Curum EX, who has come by and has completed. The turkey of ultra rares we have pulled now. Wow, very nice. That is three straight ultra rares. Now we're starting to get lucky with these pulls. 
So Cure Me X with Glaciate. This attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. And Ice Caliber for 130 damage. This card of energy attached to this Pokemon. The fan Pokemon can't attack during your opponent's next turn. So there you go, that is Curum EX. Alright. Alright, so here we go. Can Pikachu and Friends Can Pikachu and Friends make it four in a row? Uh oh, oh dear, this this pack was a little hard to open. That would be awesome if I got a uh, Omega Omega EX card. Alright, here we go. Last Last Ancient Origins Booster. There's another code for you guys. Let's see if you can pull something awesome out of there. And here we go. Can we make it four ultra rares in a row? Let's see what happens. Oh, we got Magikarp for the Magikarp army of Leonhearts. Wow, that's our second reverse hollow eco arm that we got here. But that doesn't matter. Can we make it four in a row? Uh, no, but it's still a foil card. It is still a foil Entei Ancient trait, so that is not bad. That is actually very, very nice. So that is... That's four foil cards or better in a row. Sweet! Wow, that, that was actually those were actually some pretty good ancient origins packs. All right. All right, but now we're on to the final set, which is breakthrough. So yes, breakthrough. This is this is the Mewtwo set. Also, the first set to feature break cards. So so now instead of so now we can actually start hoping for some break cards we could pull here instead of instead of reverse foils. But yeah, actually last time that I opened up some breakthrough packs, we actually pulled the uh, Secret Rare Blue Mewtwo EX card. So I wonder if this time we're going to get the red one out of here. That would be pretty sweet if we could do that. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Go lurk. Eh. Eh. That's not that bad. Probably just a non-hollow rare, but eh, it's a go lurk. So yeah, getting back on the uh, 
topic of bowling, so... Uh, bowling season starts in about a week and a half. I did go out a couple of times earlier this month practicing for a new season. And surprisingly, I actually was doing pretty well. Like, the first time I went, which was the first time in like three months, I was actually throwing the ball pretty well. I was uh, still able to average just a little over 240 for the three games I bowled the first time. But then the second time I went out, I was just, I was just on fire the second time. I went out, I think it was only a few days later. But yeah, I was on fire. And, uh, nearly, nearly shot a 900 for the second set of three games, so. So, if, I, if I'm blowing well, you know, now, you know, that basically means that I cannot wait for the new season starts. I just want to start. Just want to start the new bowling season. Just get on the lanes and just start throwing a bunch of strikes. And you know, hopefully, hopefully this will be the year that I average. The average two two fifty in the league, cause that's my that that's my goal. Um, meanwhile, we have a foil Xerneas. so very nice. We got our first foil card out of breakthrough. I actually really like the picture of. The sun sort of peeping out over top of the tree behind Xerneas there. That's really cool. And the fact that it's a foil card actually makes it... Makes the picture so much better. But yes, but yeah, my, my goal, my goal for league is to, well, at, le at least for one of the leagues, I would like to average uh, 250 for an entire season in one of my leagues. Because I remember, because I remember it was... I think it was a few years ago. A few years ago in one of my leagues, I averaged... I think I averaged 246. And so kind of... You know, after that year, I kind of set my goal out to... Average 250. And we got another double! This time, a double assault vest. So once again, the doubles, doubles are out in full force, everybody. But yeah, ever since I averaged 246 in the one league a few years ago, I just set out a goal to, you know, get up to that elusive 250 average mark. Water here. Ugh. Yeah, but but then you know, next couple of years after I had that two forty two forty six average year, unfortunately, my average just kind of slipped off a little bit. I think I think last year last year in both my leagues I only averaged 
think it was around 2.30, 2.36 or something, which, yeah, it's still an okay average, but it's not really the sort of average that I want to have. You know, I'm really, really trying to push myself to get to that 250 average that I know I am capable of, of shooting for many, many games. So, you know, being that the couple times I went out bowling earlier this month, I did really well. Means that things, things are promising for me to do really well this season. You know, maybe, maybe this will be a season I finally, maybe win a tournament here? That would be pretty awesome. Because I still, still in my adult bowling career, have not won a tournament yet. But I mean, I've gone, I've gone close lots of times. You know, I've had several top ten finishes. Also, here we are. We have our first break card. Here we have. We have Florgus break. See, they're all coated up in gold and everything. So yes, so yes. Find a break card in a booster pack, ranging from breakthrough all the way up to evolutions. They do take the place of a reverse foil card. And Florgus Break has the Floral Breeze ability. Where once during your turn before you, before you attack, you may heal 30 damage and remove a special condition from your active Pokemon. So there you go, that is Florgus Break. So that is cool. We actually got got another hit. Definitely, definitely will take that. Awesome. There we go. Got our, our first break card. See what else we can, can get out of here. So yeah, really excited for the for the new bowling season. That's just around the corner. Of course, I have to go look up online and uh, sort of fill out the forms for for the new for the new year of uh, bowling the master tournaments because surprisingly they actually haven't sent me the renewal form yet and usually long by now they they sent it but they haven't done so yet so I'm kind of wondering like you know I wonder, maybe they've posted it on, like, Facebook or something. And, you know, saying that, oh, it's up on the site. It's up on the site, you can just download it and stuff. Yes, Burning Energy. So yeah, for those who do that are wondering what Burning Energy does... This card can only attach to fire Pokemon. This card provides fire energy only while this card is attached to a fire Pokemon. If this card is discarded by an attack of of the fire Pokemon this card is attached to, 
Attach this card from your discard pile to that Pokemon after attacking. So it is so it is actually pretty cool. Basically you can you can basically discard that card instead of a basic uh, fire energy card, and it and it actually comes back attached to the Pokemon. So so basically, you fulfill. Basically, you end up fulfilling the requirements for uh, discarding an energy to use an attack. But, in the end, you the end result is you still have all of your fire energy attached for next turn when you want to use attacks like Flamethrower. Hey, we have another break card! This time it is good old Raichu Knight. So there we go, that is our second break card. There you are, Raichu, all encased in gold right there. So yes, Raichu Knight Break has Grand Bolts, which does 170 damage. You have to discard all energy attached to the Pokemon, though. So eh, it comes at a cost, but yes, it does do a lot of damage. Oh, we got two hits. We also got Foil Zorark. Yo, there you go. Now you love to see that in packs. Two hits in the same pack. That is awesome. Yeah, two hits in the same pack. A lot more often in sets like Generations, uh, Black White Legendary Treasures, and now Hidden Fates, where there's actually subsets in those uh, sets. So, double hits, two hits in you know one pack kind of happens a little more often, but you know it's it's always nice when it happens. Always nice when it happens in a set that. Doesn't have a subset. Like all the XY sets that have break cards, or Sun and Moon sets that have Prism Star cards. You know, it's always. always nice to get more than one hit in a single booster pack. Always, always a feels good man. All right, there's a reverse and oh, Cresselia. Just not hollow rare though. And we are missing a Stay Hydrated Bot. Stay Hydrated Bot unfortunately kind of missed the, uh, the one hour mark. I wonder if Stay Hydrated Bot has realized that, um, that it's kind of the end of, that we're kind of getting to the end of the summer now. And temperatures are Start to cool down. So it's not as, you know, blistering hot outside as it was in like June and July and stuff like that. 
I wonder wonder if the Stay Hydrated bot knows that fall is coming up. So it's kinda maybe it's gonna t maybe the Stay Hydrated bot's gonna like hibernate in like you know during the fall, winter, and seasons like that. Who knows? I, I'm just I'm just making I'm just making stuff up. I I I don't think that's actually true, or or, or maybe it is true. Who knows? I'm just making stuff up as we go along. So yeah, so I, I, yeah, I guess, you know, bowling season, I'm excited for, I'm excited for AGQ 2020 being in Atlanta, Florida, because, because as far as I know, I've never been to Florida before. So, you know, that'd be cool, traveling to a new U.S. state. You know, I've been talking with some of the other speed game buddies about you know potentially maybe spending a day at uh, Disney World that's down there in Orlando. You know, checking out the theme park, going on a few rides, and just you know. Having a blast for the day. You know, you know, you know. Even even if I don't get a game, you know, into HDQ twenty twenty, that is definitely one of the things that I want to do is go to Disney World and just spend an entire day there. That is, that that's the one thing I want to do. What is going on with all these doubles? We now have a double C game pack. Yeah, we're just getting getting crazy with these double packs here. That's like that's at least like five or six of them now. Just crazy. Oh, but we get it. Uh, the ultra rare. There we go. We got another ultra rare. This time it's Houndoom EX. That is pretty sweet right there. Those who don't know what Houndoom EX does, it has Melting Horn, where you discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck. And it also has Grand Flame for 50 damage. Attach a Fire Energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. So, you know, a great way to uh, get reuse some of your. Fire energy cards they may have had to use up. And oh dear, OBS. OBS is pooping the frames now. Oh no. OBS just could not wait a few more minutes to start doing that. We were We were almost done, OBS. You almost made it. Uh, 
But no, OBS just just couldn't wait any longer to drop frames. Ooh, a Delphox break and a Delphox break and a Zera Aura. Very nice. Those are a couple pretty nice, pretty nice cards you got there as well. So it seems like Raichu, you you get pretty decently lucky with your pulls in the online game. Uh, kind of like here, like we got another ultra rare. This time it is the. Mega Mew EX. And I believe... Correct me if I'm wrong, I do believe this is Mega Mewtwo X, I believe. Yes, I was right. It is Mega Mewtwo X. Yeah, I, I knew... I know that there... I knew that there was a... a Mega Mewtwo X and Y. Y has the uh, big long tail that kind of comes out of its head. So that is cool. Mega Mewtwo X EX. Regular Ultra Rare. So that. That is, once again, two packs in a row we pulled Ultra Rare cards. Very nice. So, Mega Mewtwo X with Vanishing Strike, which actually what the uh, Japanese letters actually translate to. So, Vanishing Strike. If there is any stadium card in play, this attack does 50 more damage. On top of the 150, it already does, as if it wasn't strong enough. And this attack's damage isn't affected by resistance, by resistance or any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Funny thing how it doesn't say weakness. But I'm guessing it, I guess it includes weakness as well. Or maybe it doesn't, I'm not sure. But that is sweet. Mega Mewtwo X EX, everybody. Once again, that is two ultras in a row, so. So who knows? Maybe Pikachu and friends will uh, help us get another turkey of ultra rares. All right, here we go. Last two packs. Let's see what Pikachu and friends got. Maybe they got one more goodie for us. Uh, okay, so weakness, so it's still, it can still, uh, apply weakness, uh, double damage as well. Ow, oh, I just got, I just got a cramp in my left foot, oh. Oh, cramps are painful. Okay, so, it, alright, I understand now. Weakness can still be applied, just not resistance or any other effects. Gotcha. I don't know. So some some card effects can be a little bit confusing. Like like a bunch a bunch of other card effects will will say like weakness resistance or any other effects
So that's kind of why when it just said resistance, it didn't mention weakness. So I'm like, oh, so it can we still apply weakness damage, but not resistance. Oh, that's kind of cool. Alright guys, here we go. The last pack for this week's opening. Let's see if we got a little last pack of magic here. And here we go guys, have a another code for breakthrough. See if you guys can pull uh, one of the Mewtwo cards out of the code. Maybe, maybe you'll also pull a, a Mega Mewtwo X as well. Or maybe you'll just pull, maybe you'll pull Mega Mewtwo Y. Who knows? Alright, here we go. Last pack here. Getting down to the water. Our last reverse hollow, we have Haunter. You know, our last rare card. His! Ah, oh, just an aromatist. Not hollow rare. Alright. So, I don't know, I'd say overall that was, that was not too bad. You know, we got, we got, we got several EXs, only one full art. Sadly, no, no secrets to get a couple break cards. So, I don't know. Overall, I guess this would be, this would be sort of what you would find find in like you know a typical XY series booster box if you were open up 36 of these ooh ooh that was a good pack you got there Raichu very nice gotta love the double hits Alright guys, now it's time for the recap here. I'll try to go a little I'll try to go through this recap quickly. So we'll start with Primal Clash. For reverse foils, we have Fall Beats, Badoof, Freshwater Set, Gorbis, Electric, Beauty Colo, and Agron Spirit Link. In our one full art, we have Camera Up EX. That hopefully the camera can you know get a good shot of. There we go. There's the full art camera up EX. Alright, on to Roaring Skies. Oof, Roaring Skies. Didn't do too well. For Reverse Falls, we got Switch. Uh, Galade Spirit Link. Voltorb. Rayquaza Spirit Link. Natu. Trainer's Mail. And Ninjask. And our one Hollow Rare, we had Deoxys. So not much from Roaring Skies. But now on to Ancient Origins where we start seeing a few more hits that we got. So Ancient Origins Reverse Foils. We had Larvesta, Metagross, Hexmaniac, Energy Recycler, Eco Arm, Gloom and another eco arm. Our one hollow rare we had Entei. And for our regular ultras we had Curum, Mapa Champ, 
and Ampharos. Now, lastly but not least, we have Breakthrough. Breakthrough, we kind of got a little bit of everything. So here we go, Breakthrough, Reverse Foils. It's Smeargle, Snover, Swoobat, Saltfest, Mewtwo Spirit Link, Burning Energy, uh, Staravia, Hoot Hoot, Snubble, Seeking, Cyndaquil, and Zorua, and Haunter. For our Hollow Rares, we had Xerneas, and Zoroark. For our break cards, we had Florgus and our friend Raichu Knight. And for our ultra rares, we had Houndoom and Mega Mewtwo X. Also, I totally didn't do this in the right order. Up here, there, there, and there. Oh, nice. You pulled one of the same I did? Nice. Gotta love it when, when that happens. <laughs> So yes, that is that is it for this week's uh, Pokemon TCG opening. Um, uh, next stream, next stream just in general. Um, probably gonna take a look at round three of the twelfth official FR tournament that's going on right now. And and hopefully for. Uh, future Pokemon TCG openings. Um, I'll be able to find some uh, Hidden Fate stuff for, to open up on here for you guys. Although, one, it's going to be hard to find stuff because everybody's buying it, because everybody wants to open up Hidden Fates packs. And two, I had to, you know. I spent almost two thousand dollars on car insurance for another year, so I kind of have to. Also, I kind of also have to, you know, look at trying to save up a little bit of money. Um, you know, being that uh, bowling season is about to start, so I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll see what I can uh, come up with for. Uh, for future openings. But yes, anyways, that is it for tonight, guys. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. And until next time, everybody, have a good night, take care, and I will see you guys next time.